that ending. I know. It was so magical. Magical, and I remember shooting it and being like, man, this feels really right. I think it's like ultimately, you're so torn, but ultimately you're so fulfilled when you watch it. You're like, oh, thank goodness, right? What did them floating up into the sky, what did that signify to you? I mean, it's kind of like when, when you're in love, right? And if you're truly in love, I think the world kind of just falls away and it's just you and that person. And I think that that's what we were trying to do. And ultimately, you, we didn't even want people to necessarily notice. It just like was a feeling of us bringing up. Yeah. Um, instead of being like, oh, they're on a crane going up. And I think we've, I think, hopefully we pulled it up. We'll see what happens. I, was, I didn't even notice it. And then I went back and I watched yeah. it. I was like, oh and my like, God. That's how I felt. Yeah. But then they're actually yeah. floating. Yeah. Yes. I will say, I was a little bit bummed for Mr. John Ambrose McLaren, oh, who was. You were, you were like a team, I remember. I you were into it. I, yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I have his phone finger right here. <laughs> yes. Do you think that there should have been more of a conversation, or was that the way to kind of end that relationship? I think that their relationship, like, they are so in tune with each other just as friends, right? And I think that what we tried to do, because we shot that scene many times with a lot of dialogue and then no dialogue, and it ended up being, like, the no dialogue, and it was just, like, they're so connected and they knew that it was the right decision without really saying anything, right? So we cut all the dialogue out, and it, I think, turned out, like, Sometimes you don't have to say anything. You just know, you know? Absolutely. Do you think there's room for him in the third movie? I think there's always room for Jordan <laughs> Fisher. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think so. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> How do you think people are going to feel about the breakup in this movie? I think I think they're going to feel way more. I think a lot of people are going in like Peter Kavinsky fans and I think the movie really honestly sways that. So I think people are going to feel confused. Yeah. Like I felt confused every day driving home from work. I was like, what's ha what what is she going through? What's happening? I'm conflicted as well. So yeah. I hope I hope that they feel confused because yeah. then I'm like, I did my job right. You did. You, you did such a good job on this, by Thank the way. You. Seriously. Thank you so much. How do you hope that that ending sets up like what are they what kind of trials and tribulations do they go in? For, in two versus for the third one, yeah. I mean, I think she just really starts to make decisions for herself. Um, that might be unpopular, but I think at the end of the day, as a young woman, like you have to protect your own heart and make the decisions that are truly right for you, regardless of the other people that's around you. And I think at the end of the day, Lara Jean loves love and she loves the guys, but at the end of the day, I know that she's good on her own as well. So we'll see, but we'll see. it's very satisfying. Like, yes, girl, get your life. Well, the third book, right? Yeah. It, we see them in college. Yeah. So is that gonna follow suit with a third movie? There's a, a lot, like a lot of the third movie is based all around college. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was talking to the writer, Miss Jenny. Yes. And I said, what do you want to see really in this oh. third movie? And she kind of talked about how we're gonna see real life issues come into play when it comes to yeah. Lara Jean and Peter's relationship. Do you agree with that, or how do you how do you feel? I for sure agree with that. I think we tackle like. The third movie is definitely the most mature movie out of it all, and we tackle a lot of, like, first, like, questions and first, you know, actions and stuff. So it's definitely, we tackle more, like, real, real life because there's really no distractions. It's just him and I and figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. You did say going into this movie, the scene that you wanted to be in the second movie was the snow scene with I Jordan Fisher. Yeah, yeah, you did yeah. tell us that. What scene from the third book do you want to see make the cut in the third movie? Girl, I mean, we spent a lot of time in Korea yeah. shooting, so I think if that shows, because we were there for so long, I hope that they just show a lot of Korea. And also, like, I want to celebrate the culture, so I think it's really important that we keep as much of Korea in the movie as possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good answer. I'm so excited for that, too. <laughs> Thank you. And before I let you go, yes. Valentine's Day plans? Yes. I mean, listen, I'm hoping I'll be asleep because I'm tired, I'm tired yeah. um, but I hope it's just dinner and... Stay inside, a dinner and a movie, and I'm sleeping. Yeah. Has your guy seen this movie yet? Parts of it. Parts, Parts of, of it. it. Is it hard for him to watch? No, because he's so supportive of it, yeah. and ultimately he just wants the best for me. So I think that he's really excited. And but it, he'll be he'll be like he'll be like, oh, so it's me and your two other boyfriends again. <laughs> you know, it's I, so awesome though. I was gonna say, do you think that he's gonna be Team Peter or Team I think John? Be Peter. Team Peter. Yeah. Okay. I think so.